Welcome everyone. My name is Pilu. I'm going to be guiding this yin energy of facts. I will explain during the practice what yin is about for the ones who are new to this practice, but just as an introduction, yin is a passive practice. We're not going to be targeting the muscles. We target the energetic channels, the plastic tissues in the body, the joints. For the ones who are new to aerial yoga, aerial yoga is basically yoga with a string. So the string is another prop, like the bolsters, cushions, blocks, the principles are the same. In these classes, the swing helps us to go deeper. We have different kind of swing. Here, sometimes I use these ones, so they look like a hammock. Sometimes I use the ones that look like a belt. It's more like a version of toys, basically. You can close your eyes. Take a deep breath through your nose. And sigh it out. Make a bit of a space in between your teeth. On your next inhale, lift your ribs up. On your exhale, relax your shoulders down. Notice three different sounds. Notice three different feelings. together in right position, thumb pressing your chest, inhale deeply for up, we're going to start with three up. your head to your hands. Welcome yourself into the practice. The yin yoga practice is a practice of acceptance. We can invite the inner judge to stay outside, leave it with our shoes. Keep your eyes closed for a moment. I'm going to go through some questions. If there is any yes, raise your hand up. My eyes are open. If anyone is having sinus issues these days, congestion, High blood pressure or low blood pressure, history of a stroke, glaucoma or pressure in your eyes, migraines, headache, epilepsy, pregnancy. All these questions are related to the upside downs and we can find variation. Namaste. Open your eyes, bring the swing in front of you. Place your elbows in. Grab the swing with the hands. Be careful, the swing is twisted. Inhale to lend the spine. Exhale and go forward. You can rest your head on your arms and then you can bring your palms together if it feels more comfortable. Or extend your arms if it feels better. Just choose the option that suits you better for this. Inhale deeply through your nose. Side it out. <sighs> Allow every single muscle of your body to relax. Swinging side to side is an option. Soften your belly. Release the tension on your shoulders. Allow the swing to hold you. Center. 
once you feel ready, you can find your stillness. Just stay where you are. Keep the space in between your teeth. Today we're going to hold the pulses in between 3 to 5 minutes. Notice where do you feel the pose? If it's more on your arms, on the side of your body, maybe on your hips. And breathe into this area. Give yourself time to get into your body with the practice, with the pulse. Last breath, the last five breaths all together. Inhale to the nose, side it up. Inhaling one, two, three. Exhaling one, two, three. Inhaling one, two, three. Exhaling one, two, three. Inhaling one, two, three, exhaling one, two, three, inhaling one, two, three, four, exhaling one, two, three, four, inhaling one, two, three, four, exhaling one, two, three, four. your spine and slowly, slowly start to unroll yourself. Come up to sitting. Remove your arms, bring the swing behind. Bring your arms up and inside the seat. Holding the swing, bring yourself up so you can be on your knees. Place the swing around your scapulas. Sit on your heels and recline backwards. Hands behind the head to support the head and open your heart. For more support, bring the swing a little bit higher or going deeper, bring it a little bit lower.
tweaking side to side is an option. Bring your head up slowly. Hands on the swing and come up. Hands in front of you and lying down walking with your legs back. Come onto your left hip and bring the right leg inside. The swing is going to be above the knee. From here, move your hips to be facing down the mat. Bend the knee and you can wrap around one time. Once you find your pose, one hand on top of the other one is an option with forehead on your hands or placing one two, we're going to do both sides. Relax your glutes. Allow your body to sink towards the mat. Relax your toes. Begin your practice is based on Chinese medicine. And in Chinese medicine, it's believed that there is no right or wrong. Things are what they are. So rather than trying to identify our emotions or what we are feeling right now into the box of, it, of right or wrong, we just let them flow free to do its path. Discomfort might appear during this practice and that's okay, we're gonna breathe through the discomfort. Pain is not invited, so if you feel any pain, Give me away and I come to you. I have plenty of variations and adaptation. Keep the space in between your teeth.
as if you feel nice and sound it out. Inhaling one, two, three. Exhaling one, two, three. Inhaling one, two, three. Exhaling one, two, three. Inhaling one, two, three. Exhaling one, two, three. Inhaling one, two, three, four. Exhaling one, two, three, four. Inhaling one, two, three, four. Exhaling one, two, three, four. Bring your hands in front to lift your chest up. Release your toes, extend the right leg. Roll onto your left hip and remove the right leg. Slowly bring it down, lying down again, facing down the mat. Moving your hips a little bit side to side is an option. Notice the difference between one leg and the other one. Your next inhale, bring your head up. Move the weight towards your right foot. Place your right leg in. The swing is above the knee. Lying down, bend your left leg and you can grab around. Again, you can place one hand on top of the other one. On this time, place the other cheek on the mat. Relax your glutes. Find your pose. Keep the space in between your teeth.
Inhale through your nose. And side of <sighs> Inhale in one, two, three. Exhale in one, two, three. Inhale in one, two, three. Exhale in one, two, three. Inhale in one, two, three. Exhale in one, two, three. Inhale in one, two, three, four. Exhale in one, two, three, four. Inhale in one, two, three, four. Exhale in one, two, three, four. In the hands on the mat. Roll a little bit towards your right side. Remove the left leg. Bring your leg down. One hand on top of the other one is an option. And moving the hips a little bit side to side is an option. Inhale, press the floor to lift your chest up. Bend your knees and walk with your knees towards your elbows. Sit on your heels and come up. Bring the swing in front of you. Place your arms inside. And bring the weight on the swing. If you feel a bit uncomfortable, like this is squeezing in, then you can put the ball, the, the cushion inside. Otherwise, just keep the seat. Hanging a little bit here. You can swing side to side if it feels good. Bring your right foot forward and step in front of you. You might need to use your arms a little bit for this one. Bring your hips down until you feel like the swing is supporting. From here, walk with your right foot towards the left side and bring your right knee down for a half, for a swamp pose. Notice the space in between your head and the floor and we probably all of us we need to use the bolster. I don't think anyone is that close to use only the blocks. So we're going to put the bolster to support the head. And palms facing up. If there is a big gap in between your right hip and the floor, you can use a cushion or you can use a block to make sure your body can rest fully on the props and you don't need to use your muscles. Once you find your pose, once you find the edge of your body, you can relax. say that the yin yoga practice has three steps to follow. The first one is to find the edge of the body. To find that place where you can feel that something is happening, it might be discomfort, not pain. 
It can be also explained like if you go for a massage and the masseuse is pressing somewhere in your body. And it doesn't feel very pleasant, but it feels needed. So that can be the age of the body. So first we're going to find that, the age of our body in each pose. The second step or principle is to make the decision of staying there. So once you find the edge, you make the decision of staying and you respect your decision regardless of your thoughts or emotions appearing. And the third step or principle, it will be to hold it for long periods of time. As I mentioned at the beginning of the class, the yin yoga practice it's targeting yin tissues, plastic tissues. So they need long periods of a healthy amount of stress in order to respond and to absorb the benefits. Inhale through the nose, side it out. <sighs> Inhaling one, two, three. Exhaling one, two, three. Inhaling one, two, three. Exhaling one, two, three. Inhaling one, two, three. Exhaling one, two, three. Inhaling one, two, three, four. Exhaling one, two, three, four. Inhaling one, two, three, four. Exhaling one, two, three, four. Press the throw in your palms. Bring your hips up and bring your right leg down. From this kind of tabletop, move your chest forward. Allow your hips to fall down towards the mat. And come back into your tabletop. Bring your hips in circles into one direction and the other direction. Come back to center. Step with your left foot forward. Bring your hips up. Move your left foot towards the left side and bring your left knee down. And remember, both sides of the body are different. We might feel different on this side. We might arrive to a different place. Once you find the eight, once you find your pose, 
You can place a bolster under your head to support the neck. Palms up. Keep the space in between your teeth. If you struggle with mosquitoes, give me a wave and I can bring, bring you some mosquito repellent. Closer to the sunset time, they always appear, especially now that we are closer to rain season. Inhale deep into your nose and side it up. Inhaling one, two, three. Exhaling one, two, three. Inhaling one, two, three. Exhaling one, two, three. Inhaling one, two, three. Exhaling one, two, three. Inhaling one, two, three, four. Exhaling one, two, three, four. Inhaling one, two, three, four. Exhaling one, two, three, four. Bring the hands on the floor. Picks up and move your left knee back. Move your shoulders forward and allow your hips to go down. Press the floor, bring your hips back into a kind of a tabletop. But you don't need to use your arms here. 
drawing circles into one direction with your hips. And the other. Come back to center, tap your toes, walk with your hands back and sit on your heels with your toes tucked. Close your eyes for a moment. Inhale through the nose, side it out. Inhaling one, two, three. Exhaling one, two, three. Inhaling one, two, three. Exhaling one, two, three. Last one. Inhaling one, two, three. Exhaling one, two, three. Bring the hands in front of you. You can leave the swing for a moment. Untuck your toes if they are not untucked yet and tap them on the floor. Come in front of the swing. Fold the swing in two. So the swing is very wide. Just place it double. Fold it in two in that way. Is it full? So you have the two ends together. Then bring the cushion inside. Come in front of the swing, be careful this twist. Yeah. Come in front of your on your knees for a moment. Fold the cushion in two, you can wrap it. It's kind of like I'm wrapping like a candy a little bit. It's all wrong. I'm gonna fold it from the side of the cushion. <clears throat> Hugging your hips with the swing. Step and come a little bit higher so you can place the swing at the sacrum, so it's below your lower back. From here, bring the weight on it. You're gonna feel your abs a little bit here. Give me a second, I go with you. Once it's here, holding the swing strong, bring your knees up. Open the legs as much as you can, and slide down your hands until your shoulders find the floor. Once your shoulders are on the floor, keep your legs very open. That's going to make safe. Bend the knees with your legs open and bring the heels towards your row. Stay there and I'm going to walk around to assist. If you feel any dizzy, please go back and I'll give you a variation. Swinging side to side is an option. Notice your breath. Every time you inhale, expand your ribs. 
Every time you exhale, I allow gravity to decompress your spine. The diaphragm is falling towards your chest. Keep the space in between your teeth. You can fully relax your glutes, your legs. Bring the sole of the feet together so the feet are not touching the swing anymore. Bring the heels a little bit lower. The heels are going closer to your growing Great. And we can also target the inner thighs. Inhale through the nose, side it out. Inhale in one, two, three. Exhale in one, two, three. Inhale in one, two, three. Exhale in one, two, three. Inhale in one, two, three. Exhale in one. Two, three. Inhale in one, two, three, four. Exhale in one, two, three, four. Inhale in one, two, three, four. Exhale in one, two, three, four. Bring the hands to the swing. Open your legs. Bring your feet together and lift yourself up. Slide the swing to your back. Sit on the mat and extend the legs. Hands on the side, team to the chest. And we stay here for a moment to give time to the blood to go down from the head. Step with your feet on the mat, hands on the swing, move your knees towards the right side. Move your knees towards the left side. Come back to center, extend the left leg, bring the elbows inside the swing and come to sitting. You can release the swing for a moment. With your right hand back, the left arm is going to hug the right knee and find it. Come back to center, extend the right leg, bend the left one, same thing, twist on the other side. Come back to center, bring the swing in front of you. You can remove the cushion. And we have some options for the next one. Open the swing and place your arms fully inside and go forward, it's an option. 
Bring the elbows in, same as at the beginning of the class, and go forward, it's an option shape. Place the swing on your forehead, chin to your chest, and go forward, it's an option two. And if you feel your body is asking you to go lower, you can just release the swing and go without. Inhale through the nose and sign it out. Inhale in one, two, three. Exhale in one, two, three. Inhale in one, two, three. Exhale in one, two, three. Inhale in one, two, three. Exhale in one, two, three. Inhale in one, two, three, four. Exhale in one, two, three, four. Inhale in one, two, three, four. Exhale in one, two, three, four. With your next inhale and roll yourself. Vertebra by vertebra up. We prepare for the final called Shavasana. We have some options too. You can go into a traditional Shavasana, lying down on the mat. You can use the bolster under your knees, or I like to do it with my knees on the swing and my heels down. So, like this. And then I will use the bolster just to keep my chin a little bit in. So my head is not really on top of the bolster fully, it's just a little bit. You can give it a try and choose the option that suits you better. This is a moment also to place your eye pillows if you took one. Once you find your pose, your Shavasana, keep the space in between your teeth, inhale deeply and side it out to surrender completely into this resting awareness.
Now these three different sounds. Notice three different sensations. Move the swing towards your ankles. Swing your legs a little bit side to side. Remove the bolster from your head. Bring the knees to your chest, release the swing and give yourself a nice hand. Roll onto one side to stay for a little bit longer. your palms in right position. Inhale deeply for all. Pull your head to your hand. Namaste. Don't hesitate to ask. Um, if you want to take any pictures, because sometimes I'm